for net loss you are supposed to add inadmissible expenses which are not related to business which are not directly related to business in the adjustment if they mention anything which is not deductible then you are supposed to add it as a disallowed item any provisions any taxes along with that depreciation other than this if there are any personal expenses we are supposed to consider a warm welcome to one and all this is your adarsh sir here lecture in vidyashram first grade college the temple of excellence and now we are in the session 3 and unit 4 of your income tax 2 under income tax 2 we are discussing the topic called assessment of partnership form so assessment of partnership form in the previous session we already worked out as well as we also worked out two problems on assessment of partnership now so in today's session we'll go with another two problems in this remember your business or profession in that not profession assessment of business now in the previous sem not session in the previous sem we discussed assessment of business or your business income from business in that what we are used to do we used to take net profit from net profit we used to take like add admiss inadmissible expenses below that minus admissible income like that we used to do in the business or profession same thing will follow in today's session also to find out the net profit now so first the agenda is very simple we'll go with the problems your problem number 4 in this the profit and loss account of chartered accountant firm for the year ending 31st march 2020 is as follows in this profit and loss account for the year ended 31st march 2020 now so office expenses depreciation interest on capital of partners remuneration of partners audit fees consultation net loss these are the information you have now remember your business or profession in the business we used to add un inadmissible expenses which are those like anything which is paid to director manager's salary depreciation any provisions any taxes or like your luxury tax any this kind depreciation these kind of expenses we used to add similarly now you have and beginning we are supposed to take net profit but in this problem do you have net profit no what do we have we have net loss now start from net loss for net loss you are supposed to add inadmissible expenses which are not related to business which are not directly related to business now office expenses part of the business now depreciation not directly related to business interest on capital you are supposed to take remuneration to partners yes you are not you are supposed to take audit fees part of the business consultation part of the business which are not directly involved to the business we are supposed to add so in next session i'll give you complete chart i in the last session also i told you i'll give you chart but on next session i will make a uh, prepare the chart and give you so that it will be helpful what are the things supposed to be added and what are the things supposed to be deducted now as per this out of expenses 80000 and 16000 is not deductible and out of expenses 80000 and 16000 which are not deductible under section 37 sub section 1 depreciation allowable under section 32 is rupees 37000 depreciation allowable next interest to the extent of 800 is not deductible under section 40b what is 40b remember your remuneration calculation then compute book profit of the firm you are supposed to find out the book profit now computation of book profit under section 40 sub section b in this first one net loss what is a net loss net loss we have 58000 it is already given i'll go back to your question 
your net loss is 58,000. Then after this, add inadmissible expenses. What are the inadmissible expenses which are not directly related to business? Like your depreciation, how much? 35,000. See what is your depreciation? 35,000. Then so we have interest on capital not deductible 800. So how much we have in the adjustment? Yes, interest to the extent of 800 is not deductible under section 40 subsection B. So we are supposed to take only 800. If that word is not there, we are supposed to take complete value. Then disallowed item, what are the disallowed item? 16,000 and remuneration to partner 67,000. So where is disallowed item? So in this interest on capital to the partner out of 8,000 we are supposed to take only 800. Then remuneration to partner 67,000. So we have taken 67,000. This 16,000 disallowed expenses. Now out of expenses of 80,000, out of 80,000, 16,000 is not deductible. In the adjustment, if they mention anything which is not deductible, then you are supposed to add it as a disallowed item. Now, out of 80,000, 16,000 are not deductible in the sense, you are supposed to take 16,000. Hope you are clear. Good. Later 67,000 total is 1,18,800. What is the total now? 1,18,800. In this, 58,000 is your loss. Yes. What is the total disallowed item? 1,18,800. But 58,000 loss in the sense it is in a negative value. Now, 1,18,000 minus 58, it will become 60,800. Hope you are clear. Yes. Now, so you will get 60,800. Now, normally we are supposed to minus add, but here we are going reverse. That's why I have done minus. Add is very simple. 1 like 18,000 minus your loss 58, it will become 60,000. 800. Now, so after getting 60,800 as per the adjustment we have depreciation as per income tax. Now, in the question they have given depreciation has to be added, depreciation as per adjustment has to be deducted. That's it. In the previous sem we have done this business income depreciation given in the table we are supposed to add depreciation given in the adjustment we are supposed to deduct remember this point now so 37,000 so what we are supposed to do we are supposed to minus 37,000 now so 60,800 minus 37,000 your answer is 23,800 what is this this is called as your book profit. Hope you are clear. What is your book profit? 23,800 is your book profit. Now, so if you, are, if you have to find out your remuneration, you are supposed to minus remuneration from this. How to calculate remuneration? Similar procedure. So what we are supposed to do? 90% of you are up to 3 lakh and 60% remaining value after that you are supposed to take what yes compare with the 150000 whichever is higher compare with actual remuneration whichever is less that will be your final answer for deduction now we'll go for the next step your remuneration your only 23800 is your book profit on this if you calculate 90% you will get very less, it will be around 20,000 some change. But remuneration to working partner allowable is 90% of 23,800 or 150,000, whichever is what? Higher. If you compare whichever is higher, you will get 150,000 itself, higher value. Then what you are supposed to do? 150,000 and actual remuneration, whichever is less. Now, your actual remuneration is 67,000. 
one lakh fifty thousand or sixty seven thousand, whichever is less. So whichever is less, sixty seven thousand itself less. So your remuneration will be taken as sixty seven. Therefore, the allowable remuneration is called sixty seven. Thousand. Hope you are clear. Yes, good. So I'll go back to your previous slide so that you can take a screenshot. So this is your problem number four. So continuation of your question. Your solution part one. So now we are into last problem of this session. The problem number five in this. So we have X, Y, and Z are partners in the firm X, Y, Z company, sharing profit and losses in the ratio of one is to two is to three. So what is the profit sharing ratio? One is to two is to three. Now, respectively, the summarized profit and loss account for the year ended thirty first March two thousand twenty is given below. Complete details they have given in this. So particular amount, particular amount. So they have given you gross profit of one lakh twenty thousand with all the adjustment like rent received, interest on security, discount received, and here office salary, local taxes, salary to working partner, commission to partner, collection charges, provisions as well as your net profit. So these are the informations we. Have now, so your net profit is how much? Eighty to forty. Eighty to forty is your net profit, and one lakh forty one is your total. Now, so if you go like your previous problem, we have to go with the what? Net profit. You have to consider your net profit eighty two thousand forty. For net profit, you add all disallowed item minus all allowable. Item now. So remember, what is your net profit? Eighty two thousand forty. Now your net profit is eighty two thousand forty. Now in admissible items, in admissible item. Remember, under in admissible item, which are not regularly in nature, that has to be considered. Now see, they have considered local tax. Salary to partners, commission to partners, collection charges, bad debts, provisions. Again, I'll repeat this. Remember, which are unusual in nature, which are not regular in nature, we are supposed to consider. Which are those? Remember, if you want, you can write down also like any benefit given to partners. Any benefits given to partners will come under inadmissible expenses, like salary given to partners and commission given to partners, interest on capital given to partners, along with that any provisions and any taxes. Again, I'll repeat: any provisions, any taxes, along with that depreciation. Other than this, if there are any personal expenses, we are supposed to consider. Again, I'll repeat: any benefits given to partners like salary, commission, interest on capital. Second, all the provisions and taxes. Second one, and the third one is depreciation. Then any personal expenses. These are the things we are supposed to consider under this allowed item. Hope you are clear. We'll come back later. Admissible item. We'll come back later. First, remember which are inadmissible expenses. Now, as per this problem, office salary is a part of your business. It is regular in nature. Local taxes, yes. Local taxes is for property purpose, not for your office. So you are supposed to consider salary to working partner, yes. Commission to partner, yes. Collection charges of interest on security. So will you get interest on security every time? No, which are not often in nature. So we are supposed to take then. Provisions, yes. If you find the word called provisions, you are supposed to take. Hope you are clear. Good. So these are the things we are supposed to consider. Now, 
So we considered this, 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 yes, and we started with net profit. Now I'll go to your answer. Your net profit is 82,040. Then your local taxes, yes. Salary to partner, yes. Commission to partner, yes. Collection charges, yes. Bad debts, provisions, yes. Now, so all the informations are given. Now, less admissible item. Less what? Admissible item. Under admissible item, again, which are not related to your business. For example, you are running a jewelry shop. If you are selling anything like groceries, if you are selling, that is not part of your business. Hope you are clear. And one more thing, I'll give one more example. You are having mobile shop. In the mobile shop, if you are selling anything like books, stationery, then it is not part of your business because you have taken license only for selling mobile. You have taken license only to sell jewelry. Other than jewelry, other than mobile, if you sell anything, which are not part of your business. Clear? Yes. Now, these are called as admissible items. Now, as per the question, rent received, interest on security, discount received in this discount is part of your business you know that interest on security it is an additional investment you made this is not your business so we are supposed to take rent received giving houses for rent is not your business whatever rent received is a is your admissible items hope you are clear yes rent received interest on security now add rent received and interest on security you will get 1,2140 this is your book profit hope you are clear what is your book profit add these things which are inadmissible item minus admissible item finally you will get your book profit now so what is your homework? So you have your salary to working partner, commission to partner. Now you are supposed to find out the remuneration part. What you are supposed to find out? Remuneration. So you work out in your book. You work out in your book. I need only what? Like I'll show you. The previous problem. What is your allowable remuneration? Comparing which one is higher, which one is less, everything. Your final answer is 67,000. Similarly, for this problem, for this problem, you have to consider your salary commission both, remember. And so 33 plus 30, it is 33,000. Remember, actual remuneration is 33,000. Now, your homework is you have to calculate the remuneration, allowable remuneration. Which one is higher, which one is less, everything you are only supposed to do. After calculating everything, you are supposed to tell me what is your final answer. Final answer is nothing but allowable expenses, allowable remuneration. You are supposed to tell me what is your allowable expenses in this answer. You are supposed to tell me in the comment box your final answer. Do all your calculation in your book itself, but a final answer you have to mention me in the comment box. So I hope that I'll get many replies for this and at the end I'll send you the right answer and a calculation process also. Hope you understood. Yes. So all the very best. We'll meet in the next session. Thank you.